Matthew chapter 22, verses 32 through 40. I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. I read that out of the Holy Bible, King James Version. Now I'm going to read it out of the um, NIV Bible. It says, the NIV Bible is just more plainer terms of words. It says, hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with the question, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law of the prophets hang on these two commandments. We must love God, y'all, with all our heart, with all our soul, and all our mind. And the second commandment is to love your neighbor. Your neighbor doesn't mean the person that lives beside you. Your neighbor is whoever you encounter. Whoever you encounter, whoever you come in contact with from day to day, even the people in your family, the Bible says you love them as yourself. It doesn't, you don't have to know. It could be a stranger. It doesn't mean the person that lives beside your neighbor is people, human beings. You dwell in the world and your neighbor is people. Lord, teach us these commandments. May they settle down in our spirit, man, that we would love you, God, with everything that's in us, Lord. Help us to love you more than anything. And Lord, where there's idols in our lives, where we love things more than you, God, we tear them down. We don't want you to help us tear them down because you already told us to tear them down. So we come in agreement with your word and we tear it down. In the name of Jesus, you've already made your word plain to us. You've already told us what the will is for our lives. And that is to love you more than anything. Any law, any mama, any daddy, any brother, any sister, any grandchild, anything, any money, any job, any house. God, help us to love you more than anything. And with all of our hearts, all of our mind, and all of our soul, God, we love you. Hallelujah. And we thank you. And this is our prayer that we will continue to be obedient to the voice of Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of every believer. 
and that we will love you, Lord, all the days of our lives and that we will love people all the days of our lives, oh Lord. And we thank you, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, amen.